what stimulates you mentally, physically, spiritually, sexually. Greetings from Los Angeles, California. When I was listening to the Jocko podcast with um, Mike, I think his name is Mike Ritland, the frogman turned uh, dog trainer, saying how uh, to stimulate the dog's uh, mind and attention so that it's uh, focused on doing something. Then uh, Jocko had mentioned that that's that's what he said on uh, the Jocko podcast with <coughs> with giving humans another mission, their next mission to complete complete in life. Because if not, that they lead to um, depression or lack of potential, lack of unfulfilled potential, and the like. call another point, point, point there. Unfulfilled potential, the next mission. <clears throat> and uh, the topic of using drugs on, uh, on animals. My friend had said that. He also feels the same way with uh, when using drugs for humans. That in most cases, drugs are overprescribed. And then, yeah, that they should be used, but that in most cases, these things are, these drugs are merely treating the symptom and not the cause, the lack of uh, stimulation. And I remember reading that curiosity is the opposite of depression. <clears throat> and I think that being curious about what's that like? How will that work out? Can I do that? Is that, is that possible? I wonder what that place looks like has allowed me to live and work in over a hundred cities and various countries. And again, someone's gonna go through the stupid points. Some small thinking, fat fuck, weak, cunt, stupid motherfucker. They say, well, that's easy for you to say. You're so lucky. And uh, again, uh, if you were just hang out into just some of the places, some of the recent places that I've uh, done business at, where I provided my products or services, where people have gotten robbed, extorted, or murdered. Shit, even places where I go walk my dog. <coughs> and again, there's stupid fucks that uh, have had not just more res resources than me. The better ones and have not chosen to um, to make it happen and it's funny what I've learned from, from this breeder where he says that uh, when he looks for another dog to breed that he you know like like selection for special forces that discipline and loyalty cannot be taught and that the, the, the training is simply a vetting system to uh, weed out the weakness. I think a lot of people say, well, no, I'm special too. I'm strong too. 
I can make it too. I deserve to to uh, get the first place trophy also. Um, because I'm special. Because my mama said I'm special. Because daddy called me the little princess. Because I deserve it. <clears throat> because life's so unfair. You know what? Life's unfair, but... So what? Who, who gives a fuck? <clears throat> To get where I'm at today, yeah, man, I've suffered way more losses, failures, and rejections than wins. I've gotten more L's, more losses than W's. Wins. And, uh, I don't believe I'm smarter or better than other motherfuckers. If anything, maybe just uh, a bit more stubborn than most people. Uh, if something didn't work out for me, <clears throat> I'll say, hmm, that didn't work out. Let me, let me try this way. Let me go around. Let me try the other way. Let me wait. Let me try this. All right, I'll be back. Nope, it's not gonna work. Well, on to the next chapter, next adventure, the next uh, endeavor, the next challenge. And, uh, just keep at it. I think, uh, just doing more, winning, knowing, accomplishing more, it's uh, made me, it's made it easier for me to step on people's fucking necks, to keep, to keep them down, you know, that doesn't mean sabotaging someone or hating on someone, <clears throat> but when someone says, yeah, you know what, uh, let's, Let's quit. Let's not fulfill our potential. Let's not make this happen. Let's not give it a go. Let's not try. You know, of course it's impossible. Of course you'll never make it. Don't even try. It's easy for me to just fucking kick people like that out of my fucking life. Keep a distance. Recently, I you know, came across someone that I you know, used to hold in high regards because because the motherfucker had uh, had accomplished a lot. He did a lot of good, but eventually, this dude's it. This dude did so much winning that <clears throat> put him in a state of, state of comfort where, you know, why try harder? Why keep on winning? Why keep on going if I know I'm good or this good or I have enough? And then bad habits, stupid people start uh, start coming around or get a grip on you. And it's something like that uh, cliche of the chains of bad habits are invisible and light. But incredibly difficult to break. And, and, and to this day, a lot of people that uh, I've known of, know of, know that have chosen to, to give up on themselves. You know, I really would like to... Um, 
you know, help them out. But no, no, man, no. I don't mind uh, giving out a hand, but it's another thing to bend over backwards to the point of snapping your spine. What stimulates me? <clears throat> Probably this last week and a half I've been thinking about that um, more than usual because, again, I don't have any wife or kids. And there's, there's no one that's going to inherit all that I have. Some fucking weak snakes and be like, I'll take it. Some fucking lazy piece of shit. Some coward. And I'll say coward because... I think so many of us <laughs> would rather let uh, someone else do all the heavy lifting and be like, yeah, you know, I'm in charge of their estate, or their collection of this or that. Nah, fuck that. Fuck that shit. I don't know how my story's gonna end, um, but I know that it will end, and I do think of my younger version, when I used to read books that were not part of my homework assignment, when I've stayed in bookstores or libraries to learn, because I was curious. that's what stimulated me my curiosity <clears throat> because even if I could take 99 losses in a row but one victory I'd be like fuck damn I gotta I think it failed 99 times in order to um, reach this uh, unknown feeling this level of uh, of wokeness or life. I don't know how to describe it. But at times I do share my stories of what I feel are success or, or victory because because the, the younger version of me out there and I'm pretty sure is out there. Another kid that probably probably um has a uh, has no library across the street or a bookstore around the corner, but does have the YouTubes. And if I can just tell you, motherfucker, every motherfucker out there, get it done, get after it, go forward. 